Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Starfield video. In this one, I compiled some of the best planets and moons with the most amount of resources available that you can have at your outpost. In this, I also tried to cover a variety of different kinds of resources, so hopefully you'll discover what you're looking for within this one video. And before I go ahead and jump into this, I will mention that some of these planets and moons are going to require the skill Planetary Habitation that you can find in the Science category of your skills. This skill will allow you to build outposts at different areas that have extreme environments, such as on planets that have extreme temperatures like Deep Freeze and Inferno. Or another example is the planets could have like toxic or a corrosive atmosphere. You will need this skill to place down an outpost. So yeah, if you're having trouble placing your outposts on some of these different planets and moons that I show you, the reason why you can't place an outpost is because you need to invest into the planetary habitation. Just thought I'd throw this information out there in the very beginning. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of these. Enjoy. Okay, so this first one is going to be an amazing planet that you can travel to really early in the game too. It's right by Alpha Centauri. If you head over here to Linnaeus system, and when you're at the Linnaeus system, you want to head over here to Linnaeus 4B, which is right here. On this planet, as you can see, there are loads of resources on it. We got water, helium-3, aluminum, iron, lead, beryllium, alkanes, and ytterbarium, ytterbarium. Uh, hang on, I gotta learn how to pronounce this real quick. This is a new one for me. Aterbium. Okay, that's embarrassing. Aterbium. So yeah, these are some awesome resources on this one planet. And the cool thing is you can literally get like six resources at one outpost. As you can see at the top left here, there are six available resources if I go ahead and plop down my outpost here. We got iron, aterbium, beryllium, alkanes, aluminum, and water all available at this one spot. Which, in case some of you are wondering how do you find this location, on this planet man that is freaking amazing well it's not that difficult actually all you got to do is pull up your resources on the map and what you want to do is look for where the alkanes resource is very close to the helium 3 and aluminum resources as you can see here for an example now once you find a good area like this next you want to make sure you are right by craters and hills so right here this is hills. Now if I go over just slightly, and you can see this is craters. So this is around where you want to fast travel to, right where hills and craters are right by each other. You may not find it at your first destination that you fast travel to. As you can see here for an example, I landed at a few different areas until I actually found what I was looking for, and that is six available resources at my one outpost. This is exactly where I plopped down my outpost at, right here, and right by where helium-3 and aluminum and alkanes kind of intertwined together so yeah just keep plopping down your destination and as soon as you get hills to pop up right by craters that's where you want to fast travel to hopefully that makes sense and eventually while you're running around on the terrain you'll come across a spot that has six available resources for your convenience an easy way to also track that while you're running around on the terrain is pull out your outpost while you're running around and just wait until it states six available resources at the top left. As you can see, if I go to my extractors here, I have six different extractors that I can utilize to get me resources. As some of you know, a lot of these resources are really important too. Most of you should know about aluminum and iron, how much those two alone can just help you out. Imagine all these others too that you can utilize here. But yeah, let's continue on here. I just wanted to show this one first because there's literally six different resources you can use at this location freaking amazing anyways now let's carry on to the next destination this one is also nearby alpha centauri which this is where new atlantis is i figured this would be a good starting point to show you where to go because you know pretty much everyone knows where this is alpha centauri so yeah from here you just want to head over to the soul system and this next one is going to be located on venus this is actually a good planet to check out as you can see available here we got water Nickel, lead, cobalt, and this prosium. Oh, this is embarrassing. Dysprosium. Oh, okay. I was close, except the seum is supposed to be zeum. Dysprosium. All right. <laughs> Anyways, 
so when you're here, once again, same scenario, find an area where they're kind of intertwined together. So I got nickel and cobalt really close together here. So I want to keep pressing A and looking at where I'm going to fast travel at. So that says Venus Hills. This says Venus Hills, Venus Hills, Venus Hills, Venus Hills. All right, Rocky Desert, Venus. Uh, so that, so around here is where I want to fast travel to because in the different like areas, the biomes or whatever, hills and rocky deserts and stuff, that's going to have different resources available for you. So you want to try to get as close as possible to where both of those are together. And then you want to run on over to the rocky deserts if you fast travel to the hills, etc. I already have an outpost made here. I'll just fast travel to this and show you what I have working at this place and the good thing about making an outpost here is how things are going to respawn faster you don't have to wait as long here because the time is way different on venus oh my gosh gotta battle some freaking ships hang on <laughs> hey at least i'm being real with you all and not acting like you know i'm some kind of english scholar here and i know how to pronounce everything exactly how it's pronounced you know some words i'm just not used to saying okay we can, we can have some difficulties. No one's perfect. Not going to act like I am. So here I got cobalt, nickel, and water. I'm working with three different resources at this one outpost. And like I mentioned, things respawn faster here. So I already have things set up at this outpost. I already got like stuff connected to my storage systems. Like I got some extractors over here. What is this? I got some nickel extractors over here connected to my storage systems. So yeah, most of you guys should know how these work. If not, I may make a video in the future like giving a bunch of tips over outpost building. But I got cobalt over here connected to my storages as well. And let me just give you all a quick example over how fast things come back here. You don't have to wait 24 hours or anything like that. So check this out. So I'll go ahead and just take this right here just for a quick example. Took that cobalt and nickel. Now I'm just going to go to my bed, sleep for an hour and watch this. One hour is a hundred hours, technically, so bada bing, bada boom, I go back to my storage and voila, <laughs> I got tons of cobalt, and I don't know where my nickel went, but you get it, things just respawn back here really fast, like you don't have to wait nearly as long here as you would at like Androphon or whatever, that's where I'm going to be showing you all next, Androphon is also a good area for resources which speaking of all this cobalt and nickel that you can extract from this place you can use those resources to craft iso centered magnets each time you go to craft 99 of these you'll get quite a bit of xp this is a fast way to level up really quickly and once you run out of nickel and cobalt to craft with you just have to simply sleep for an hour and everything will be refreshed and you can go back to crafting you don't even have to take out the nickel and cobalt from the storage containers you just can automatically go up to the industrial workbench and start crafting which you know you can build the industrial workbench at your outpost this is definitely a nice planet to take advantage of for these resources also in case you don't know how to get the storage containers and whatnot going you just got to link the extractors to the storage containers and then place down some things that'll provide power specifically you have to use wind turbines on this planet to power up your outpost it's literally that simple anyways from alpha satari here the next area we're going to be going to is the nerion system right here once again, not far from Alpha Satori, so that's good news. And once you're here, you want to head on over to the Androphon moon. This is the moon of Samadhi. So yeah, let me go ahead and pull up the resources here. As you see, what's available here, we got Helium-3, Aluminum, Iron, Beryllium, and Europium. Did I say that right? Europium. Europium. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to edit this stuff out. I feel like it's real. I'm being real with you guys. Okay, anyways, now when you're here, what you're going to be wanting to look for are where the resources are kind of close together here. So I already have an outpost set up right over here, but what I did was I did the same scenario I showed you in the past. I kept clicking A, so I got mountains right here. Keep clicking A, keep clicking A, keep clicking A. Keep clicking A. When is it going? All right, so we got craters here. So I want to go over just a little bit. So I find those mountains. All right, there's the mountains. So I want to fast travel here. And then I want to run over to where I see the different biome, the craters. And that's where you have the most luck at over finding both of the resources together. The resources don't have to technically be right on top of each other. So I got the aluminum way over here and the iron way over here. As long as they're kind of close together, you just want to keep pressing A 
until you find where the different biomes are. So craters is right here and mountains are right here. So this is around where I want to land, which is where I landed in the past. And I ended up finding an outpost right here. That's how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fast travel to the outpost I already have made and just show you what's the possibility over what you can discover on this planet. Oh, wait, wait a minute here. I don't have nothing built here. What's going, this isn't the right outpost. Only iron's available here. Okay, so it looks like I failed finding iron and aluminum together at this outpost, but I should have another outpost on this planet, or moon, whatever. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull up the resources. So yeah, aluminum's over here, iron's over here, and what I kept doing is once again, kept going over until I find like craters right by the mountains. So yeah, there's the craters right by the mountains. I ended up fast traveling right here. But yeah, I ended up placing my outpost right here where craters combine with the mountains. Gotta try to find those biomes both together. And if you don't have any luck, you know, you can always just fast travel to another area. Each time you land in, basically you're generating different like biomes and terrain on the planet, if that makes sense. So yeah, I already have things set up here. Just to show you all an example, I got what I'm working with here. I got aluminum and iron, which these two together are also great for leveling up your character really fast. Not gonna get too much into detail, but yeah, I got a bunch of storage containers right here that have aluminum going to them, as you can see. And over here, I got a bunch of iron going to these storage containers. You don't have to technically get these out of the storage containers either, uh, FYI. <laughs> I didn't know that for a while. So yeah, once you have these set up and you get a bunch of iron and aluminum going into the storage containers, if you just go over to an industrial workbench, you can just craft a bunch of adaptive frames. And each time you craft 99, you're getting a lot of XP. Make sure to get that sleeping buff too, and maybe take some aid buffs too, that'll give you more XP. There's different things you can like drink and eat to get some more XP gain, but yeah. This is one way to get some really quick level ups just by crafting adaptive frames over and over and over. Some of you may be thinking, well, what are you going to do with the adaptive frames? Well, you can store them on your ship if you have like, if you want, and then take the adaptive frames to go sell at a shop to make a bunch of money if you want, but there's credit glitches out there and stuff, so I don't advise that. Honestly, I just drop the adaptive frames right on the ground. And yeah, that's what I do. Goodbye, adaptive frames that I just made. So for a quick example here over how I have things set up, by the way, um, let me toggle the view. So I got my aluminum extractors over here, which by the way, you can tell where you're able to build like aluminum extractors and iron extractors and all kinds of other different extractors by where the highlighted areas are. So over here, I can place aluminum extractors. It has like this blue highlighted area. And if we go over yonder to my iron extractors, where are they located at? Let me zoom. Ah, we got the red highlighted area. This is where I have my iron set up at. So yeah, that's how that works. And then you just want to hook them up to the storage containers and then power them up as well. You're going to need power. You can see how much power you're going to need at the bottom. I'm going to need a total of 45 to get everything running here. I actually have a total of 48 going on though at this outpost. And I got a bed right here as well where I can get my buffs going on too before crafting a bunch of adaptive frames. So this next one from Alpha Centauri is going to be located over here at the Latana system, which is right here. Let's head on over here. And once you're at the Latana system, you want to check out down here at Latana 7. At this location, you're going to be finding quite a bit of different resources. You can find helium-3, chlorine, copper, peanut butter, I mean lead, silver, and gold. So yeah, you can find quite a bit of different resources here at this location. I actually already have an outpost going on here, but it's gonna be the same scenario. You're gonna be wanting to plop down your outposts around where the different biomes are. You wanna get them as close as possible together. So just for another example here, we got rocky desert, rocky desert, rocky desert, plateau. Rocky desert, rocky desert, plateau. And this is where you want to fast travel to, the plateau, and then run over to the rocky desert, and that's where you can kind of get them to combine next to each other. So I got gold right here and silver right here, which by the way, if like gold doesn't pop up for you or certain resources don't pop up for you, that's because you need to upgrade your scanning skill. Anyways, at Latana here, you can get some crazy stuff going on by like 
interlinking different cargoes and whatnot. But just to put things short here, um, I'm just going to be showing you what all I got going on here at this one outpost. I got helium three, copper, gold, and silver all available at this one freaking outpost. Yeah, there's four different resources here available at your disposal. So this is another great uh, location to be checking out. It may take you a little while to find all these resources together, but you know, after a while you will find it guys. It might have took me <laughs> maybe like an hour or two or something, I'm gonna be real, but hey, I eventually found this spot and I was like, okay, this is the sweet spot. So it may be shorter for you, just depends on your like, your luck, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's kind of difficult finding all the resources together. It can be anyway sometimes. It, it can be pretty time consuming, but in the end, I feel like you reap a lot of rewards from it. You get a lot of resources. This is exactly where I placed my outpost at, in case you're wanting one for reference. So yeah, this is what the area looks like. I got silver over here, and I got gold over here. That's what I looked for before placing an area. I looked over here too. We got silver over here and gold over here, as well as some copper right here. Gold is typically around where the copper is. So if you don't have that scanning skill unlocked, just fast travel to where copper is located at. Just because you don't have the scanning skill unlocked doesn't mean the resource isn't available on the planet. You're just not able to see the resource like on the planet's surface before touching down. But it is available. You're just gonna have to do a little bit more searching, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that's what you want to be looking for before you go and touch down on this planet. Be looking for the gold, copper, and silver next to each other. And that's where you'll find a bunch of resources available at your disposal at your one outpost. Alright, so this next one's going to be pretty close to Alpha Centauri yet again. This one's going to be located over at the pizza system. I'm just kidding, the Piazzi system. So what you want to do is, so yeah, it's located right here from Alpha Centauri. And what you want to do is to select this area, you want to press A. Or if you're on PC, you know, just click the mouse. And then you want to scroll down to Piazzi here. Don't go to Bessel. We want Piazzi. It, it reminds me of pizza every time I see that. So yeah, head on over here. It might be because I, I love food. I don't know. But anyways, once you fast travel over to the Piazzi system. Oh, come on. More enemies to take on. Frickin' A. I'm trying to make a guide here, guys. Come on. Slow me down. Okay, so once you're at the Piazzi system here, you then want to go over to Piazzi 4C. This right here, the moon of Piazzi 4. So once you're here, uh, whoops, I gotta set course to go over there first before I can show resources. All right, so once you're here, this is actually a really cool planet and has tons of resources available. Look at that, eight different resources here. And it's a cool looking planet too. So, you know, that's awesome. So what we got here is water, chlorine, copper, nickel, chlorosilanes, oh gosh. Chlorosilanes. Chlorosilanes. Okay, chlorosilanes. We got that here. We got fluorine, xenon, and palladium. So yeah, there's quite a bit going on at this one freaking area. Okay, so I ended up finding four available resources right here. I plopped down right around here. I found this, and I just backed up from the savanna area until I hit the forest area. And I just kind of found the middle ground where the biomes are right next to each other. So I got Savannah there and the forest there. And yeah, I just plopped down right in the Savannah area toward the forest side. And I ended up finding an area where there is four different uh, resources available. Honestly, you'll probably be able to find even more resources available at one spot. If you take a little bit longer looking around at this place than I did. I didn't really look around that long and I found four available resources pretty fast. As you can see, I found water, chlorine, xenon, and chlorosilanes that I can extract from this one area. So yeah, pretty nice. This next one's going to be over titanium, tungsten, and lead. This is a good area to go find this, these kind of resources, which, which these are used quite a bit as well. I'm trying to cover a lot of the different resources in this one video for y'all, just so you can hopefully find what you're looking for within this top 10 planet and moons video. I may make another one on this, depending on how well the support does on this one. So yeah, anyways, this next location will be located over in the Eridani system, which is located right here from Alpha Centauri. Once over here, you wanna to head to the moon of Eridani 7C, which is located right here. 
you're going to find plenty of different kind of resources here. I'll go ahead and pull them up. As you can see, you can find water, helium-3, aluminum, lead, uranium, tungsten, titanium, and europium. So yeah, to find the titanium, you want to plop down the, where you discover tungsten. Right now, I'm not able to see titanium when I scan, unfortunately. So I'm just going to look for where the tungsten is. Actually, tungsten isn't even showing up at the moment. But you can find plenty of tungsten around in the lead area. So let's just plop down, like, right here. This is where we want to look for titanium and tungsten at. Just plop down at the lead area. So yeah, as you see, I just spawned in here, and immediately I got titanium, tungsten, and lead. Just right where I dropped down at. Now we could probably even further this and get another one as well if we, you know, go further out. Well, but just as I feel like is a good enough example to show you what's available here. Actually, of course, the more searching you do around on the planet, the more you'll probably find available at your one outpost. I'm sure you could probably get four or five available resources on this one planet because there's so many resources available here. But this is proof right here you're able to get titanium, tungsten, and lead <laughs> right here where you plop down at. So, yeah, keep this one in mind. I know tungsten and titanium are resources that are used quite a bit, and heck, even lead is used quite a bit. Now, lastly up here, oh, wow. Okay, so I plopped down on the planet and then went back to the planet, and it showed new data I could uh, scan. So I guess once you discover different resources on the planet, you can scan for more. So yeah, as you can see, I'm at the titanium and tungsten area. You'll find plenty of that right around here. It starts off as just lead. My mistake on that. <laughs> but yeah, I guarantee you could find helium-3, aluminum, tungsten, lead, and titanium together. I bet you. Or uranium, tungsten, titanium, and lead together because right over here is uranium. Yeah, I'm sure you could find all those resources together. Okay, so this next one will be located in the Alpha Centauri system. Once here, you just want to head on over to Zamka, which is located right here. And this one has loads of resources available. Check out all of these. We got water, helium-3, copper, nickel, iron, uranium, cobalt, and vanadium. Which is pretty convenient to find copper, nickel, and cobalt together. As you see, I found a spot here with cobalt, nickel, copper, and water available. So yeah, you'll be able to extract all these resources here. I'll show you exactly where I'm at too on the planet. So this is exactly where I plopped down my outpost. So I did have to travel a little further from where I landed. I landed right here and I plopped down my outpost right around here on the planet. Hopefully this can help you locate it. All right, so now we want to head back over to Narion, or Narion. And over here, another good area to check out here for some different kinds of resources is Grimsey. And at this area, you're able to find quite a bit of rare resources. You can find uranium, iridium, vandium, and plutonium. And the good thing about placing your outpost here, at most of the areas, you'll be able to find all of these available together because they're from the same family. So it isn't gonna be difficult to find them all together when you go to place that in your outpost, which is beneficial. You don't have to waste as much time looking around. So yeah, right off the bat, as soon as I landed here, I already found plutonium, uranium, and vanadium. And there's iridium right there, a little further up. So you can get all four of these at your same outpost. These are you know, different kind of resources you may take advantage of. These are really easy to find, too, on this planet. Not going to take long at all to find where you can place all these extractors down at your same outpost here. Alright, so this next one's going to be located at the Leviathan system, which that's located right here. Once you're here at this system, you want to go to the Leviathan 4. This area has plenty of different resources. As you can see, it has water, chlorine, aluminum, copper, iron, fluorine, and a terbium. All right, so just came out of the ship. And right off the bat here, we got fluorine, copper, chlorine, and water. As you can see, this is where I landed. In case you wanna get a reference. Landed way down here. 
we could see aluminum, iron, fluorine, and copper right by each other here. So if you really search around, you could possibly even find iron and aluminum plus copper together. I will say there's some aesthetically looking pleasing areas too over around in the wetlands and mountains. So if you land over there, you can find some nice looking spots. Also another plus is this is a breathable planet. So we don't have to be wearing our space helmet on this planet as well. So this last one is a really great one. I saved one of the best for last. This has plenty of rare resources that you may be looking for. And this one is located from Alpha Centauri here over at Procyon A. Let's go ahead and head into this system. And then you wanna to head to Procyon 3 here. As you can see, what we're working with here is water, copper, argon, fluorine, tetrafluorides, which is a rare resource that you may be looking for, ionic liquids, and neon. So yeah, some really rare ones at this location. Go ahead and find a spot where you want to plop down your outpost at. As you can see, for instance, where I could place this outpost, I got ionic liquids, tetrafluorides, fluorine, copper, and water that I can extract from here. So yeah, quite a bit of different resources at this one location, which I plopped down like right around here on the map. If you're looking for neon, by the way, that's located over here where the argon's located at. So you can get like neon combined with argon. I'm not exactly sure if you can get neon with the tetrafluorides. It might be a possibility if you like search around. But either way, you can get a lot of resources at one outpost at this planet. Yeah, check it out. Over here, you can get argon, neon, and water to extract. Definitely a good planet to check out for some really rare resources, once again, that you may be on the hunt for. But yeah, there you guys have it, everyone. Hopefully you found this video enjoyable and you found something that you're looking for within this. I'm out of here, though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.